Oppenheimer, 2023, has several hidden truths and untold stories that add depth to its narrative. Killian Murphy stayed in character off-camera to fully immerse himself in the role, reflecting Oppenheimer's loneliness and pressure. Christopher Nolan drew personal parallels between Oppenheimer's burden of creating the atomic bomb and his own creative responsibilities as a filmmaker, leading to his decision to recreate the Trinity nuclear test without CGI, using practical effects. The film hints at Oppenheimer's complex romantic life, but in reality, his relationship with Jean Tatlock, who died by suicide, deeply affected him, while his love for Kitty was equally troubled. That Chris is making this movie now. I mean, we're seeing parallels. This kind of nuclear reality, you know, people in my generation were born into it. What was really interesting was trying to understand what these guys were thinking and the terrible decisions that were placed in front of them. How about because this is the most important thing that ever happened in the history of the world? The untold story of the silent contributions of women like Leona Woods, who worked on the Manhattan Project, also plays a crucial role in the narrative. Nolan's obsession with historical accuracy led him to consult experts, and he even considered a more somber ending reflecting the long-term impact of nuclear weapons. Lastly, Nolan fought hard to release the film in IMAX 70mm format, believing it was the best way to capture the scale of the atomic explosion and the moral weight behind it. These elements, combined with Oppenheimer's real-life guilt over his creation, make for a richly layered story. Sound design and the score and the emotionality of it, it's a very intimate, very personal film on a giant scope. And I don't know how Chris managed to do those two things at once. There is no stronger version of filmmaking occurring anywhere right now. You just know it. We're at the bleeding edge of what you could do with cameras and lights and artists and department heads. When I saw it in its finished form, I was kind of like, wow, yeah, that's what we were hoping this could be.